My Polish friend Sammy makes the best cold beetroot soup. It sounds a little strange to have beetroot cold, but this is to die for. You've probably heard of borscht, which is a hot beetroot soup, but please try this one because you'll love it even more. Now, usually when you cook whole beetroot, they take about an hour to cook, but I'm going to cook them in the pressure cooker. They're only going to take 15 minutes, and that's why I love to pressure cook. In the past, I've shown you how to make stews in the pressure cooker, but you might not have known that it steams really well too. So we're going to add the four beetroot to the basket along with one Desiree potato. So in my pressure cooker, we're going to add about a litre of water. And my basket has a trivet on the base, so it's raised from the bottom. We'll place that in. We're going to turn the heat on, so quite high at the beginning. We're going to pop the lid on and lock it. And this pressure cooker is pretty cool because it has its own timer. So we just pop it into place and we set the time. This is going to cook for about 15 minutes. Once this comes to pressure, the timer will ring and the countdown will start. That's when I'm going to turn the temperature down to a medium heat and just allow them to cook. The best thing about this is it'll ring when it's ready and then all we need to do is allow them to cool. In the meantime, I'll get the rest of the ingredients ready. So one cucumber that I'm going to peel and chop and one French shallot that I'll chop too. the beetroot and potato have completely cooled down and the best way to test that the beetroot are cooked are just to pierce them through the thickest part. If a knife goes through seamlessly then you know they're ready and look how easy it is to peel. And yes I am wearing gloves because beetroot do stain. And some of you may be asking why not just use canned beetroot? Look you can but nothing compares to freshly steamed beetroot. They're just so much sweeter and they have this beautiful earthy flavour. Okay we'll get rid of that. So now we're going to place this into a food processor to blend. I'm just going to roughly chop this potato and while we're here we might as well just cut up our beetroot. See how tender they are. Fabulous. So in they go. And then I finally chopped my French shallot. I'm going to add majority of it and leave a little for presentation later on. I like the addition of cucumber. I like how refreshing it is. So in it goes. The juice of half a lemon. So we'll squeeze that in. Okay. And horseradish. I'm using some fresh horseradish. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. If you can't get fresh horseradish, you can use some jarred creamed horseradish. It works a treat too. Right, for some seasoning, a generous pinch of salt. And I'm going to use white pepper for this. So a pinch of white pepper. And I'm just going to pop the lid on and give this a really good blend until everything's quite chopped. Then I'm going to slowly, slowly start adding in some vegetable stock. All right, that is looking great. Look at this gorgeous purple colour. Now it's still slightly thick and I want to add some creaminess to it. So I love the addition of yoghurt and creme fraiche to balance it out. So I want the tartness of the creme fraiche too. So in with about half a cup of yoghurt to start with and a few generous tablespoons of creme fraiche, leaving some for the garnish later on. And we're going to blend again until it's a soupy consistency. How 
Have a look at that colour. Another important note, do not wear white when you're eating this soup. It's probably not a good idea. Anyway, I'll be very, very careful. So this is ready. We can start plating this up. You can make this ahead of time. In fact, it's actually better to make this ahead of time and pop it in the fridge until it's really, really chilled. My beetroot and potato were chilled. My vegetable stock was too. So this is quite cold at the moment for me to have a taste. So in a, of course, a white plate. And I'll grab a ladle. And this is the perfect consistency. Quite soupy. In it goes. That right there is a sight for sore eyes. Just incredible. Pop that down. And the reserved French shallots, we can add them now. And usually a soup like this would be served with some dill, but I'm changing it up. I'm going to add some chives. I love the light, mild flavour of them. Just grab a knife and then finely chop a small amount. I'll also add some extra creme fraiche on the top. Just a small dollop. Our chives. And then to tie the whole thing together, just because I really want to show off now, a little extra virgin olive oil. Just love those little drops of oil in that purple soup. Wow, so impressed. Sammy, I hope this one is as good as yours. And like you always tell me, pop a bib on when you're eating beetroot soup. <laughs> Delicious.